Hey guys, Sam here again. Um, I've been asked to do a video by Dark Eye um, George um, on pigeon patterns. Uh, he's getting into his shotgun shooting and things like that, and want to be uh, wanting to decoy pigeons on the fields and what have you this winter or whenever. Uh, and he's really just sort of asked me for a, a video on. Um, decoy patterns so this is going to be a dual video really uh, it's going to be the request video that George wants plus it's going to be the um, next part of the pigeon shooting tips and gear uh, I think that's part six now I think it is uh, no don't quote me on that I can't remember without looking at the computer uh, so it's just a it's just a few drawings on some paper uh, just for some patterns that I use um, just out in the field really um, I'm going to be doing another video as well a little bit in a little bit for the uh, vlogs site countryside vlogs uh, me and Daniel Maddock um, let's rip this is up in my bedroom this is the view I've got for my bedroom that's next door that's mine and there's a horse box just out in the back there that paddock just underneath that horse box is absolutely covered with rabbit holes I have permission to shoot on there as well so let me turn that around that's it so here we go guys um, the first one is sorry about these I've just just found them, I forgot I had these actually. Uh, the first one, there as you can see, this is your hide against a hedge or something. Uh, your flight line is, you know, as close to this part, this point here as possible. Your wind is the ideal position coming from behind you. And you've got two groups of decoys you know using up to 10 to 20 decoys depending on what you've got keeping loads of space between decoys and your kill area in the middle and your pigeons will come heading to wind straight in your decoys want to be the majority of them heading to wind but not all like uh, little soldiers facing the same way so this one works very well on the stubbles and the drillings so that's that's one the next one this is sort of a, a square shape but it you can use it as a as the U shape as well so there you go you've got the the wind coming at you, you can use this one the other way around as well as like with this one so you've got the hide you've got the pigeons you've got the wind and you've got your block of decoys come round and this block in the middle here it, that's your kill ground killing area whatever you want to call it again as many decoys as you've got to make this U shape, I mean just a single row of decoys round in the U heading to wind majority, a few of them facing different ways and your pigeons come over your back and give you a, a shot as they land into wind again like I say this one can be if you visual it from the other way we hide here, wind coming from the back of you, decoys like this and the pigeons come straight in oh like that sorry with them facing your hide so the decoys will come straight into you then so that's number two your next one is wind from either left or right um, I think I've got the other one here yeah. 
So, do this one first. This is the wind coming from my left hand side. So, wind from the left. You've got the wind coming across, you've got the hide. Pigeons will come head into wind. Railroad decoys. The nail shape into the wind. Again, your height, you know, needs to be on what I covered earlier in an earlier vi vi uh, video um, about flight lines and you know lines of flight and everything like that. <clears throat> so you've got the hide, you've got the pigeons. You got the wind. You got your decoys. Again, this is your killing area. Here. This is going to be 30 to 35 yards out in the in the field. So that's that one. Again, this one here's the wind, sort of quartering in or coming from the right. The pigeons coming from the left. Killing ground, hide, decoys. There. That's that one. And we'll say wind coming, quartering in from the front of you. Just arrange your decoys out in a half shape, semicircle into the wind. With this last decoy here. 30 to 35 yards out you, pigeons incoming will overfly these to land at the front in this pat here you've got your hide you've got your pigeons and the wind if you're using a rotary uh, we'll use, hang on a minute, we'll use this one for the for the, for the rotary you've got your U shape If I was using this pattern with the rotary, I would place the rotary here. In that bit there. That way the pigeons that are coming from behind will come in and they will come and head towards the rotary here. Because they'll always tend to follow your rotary. Likewise if it was the other way round you got the wind coming from behind you, pigeons coming this way, your rotary would then be smack in front of your hide, just there. Again I'll use this one for the bouncers, flappers, uh, I know I mentioned these instead of rotaries George. Um, I would place your bouncers, flappers here. I would even put one here or and here. If you've only got the one, stick it about here, facing this way. That way, any birds coming in will come round and in and fly over your bouncer, which will give you a shot out in front of your pattern, in front of your hide. So, I hope this help, has helped, guys. I know I've waffled on a little bit about different things and and what have you. Uh, like I say, watch out and keep your eye out for further productions. Um, there's a few pigeons out there now. Um, we've got a, a heck of a lot of rape um, all in one area um, around me at the minute. Um, there's a good six or seven hundred acres across the motorway. Um, there's two big fields just behind me. Uh, there's another three fields over the road and in the distance, not that far away really, but one land we haven't got permission on. Uh, there's another four or five fields there as well that's rape and there's some uh, fresh drillings as well. Uh, so that's it really guys. Um, this is, like I said, I think it's part six um, of the pigeon shooting tips and gear. Um, you know, like I say, watch out for the productions. Um, please comment, rate, 
you know, subscribe, whatever. And uh, we'll catch you later. Cheers, guys.